Now, let's look at the types of chromosomal mutations. So we know that one of the types of chromosomal mutations is that you can have a different number in the chromosomes. You can have many chromosomes that are not supposed to be there, as in the case of trisomy. You can have whole sets of chromosomes that are not supposed to be there. Or you can have uh, chromosomes missing, as for example with the Turner syndrome. Now, besides those types of additional deletions of entire chromosomes, you can have changes in a specific chromosomes. You can have rearrangement of genes in a chromosome. And you can have uh, deletions or inversions or duplications or translocations. So let's look at each one of those individually. This is a summary a slide of this type of mutations. So let's look at them in more detail here. When you have rearrangement of genes, there is a deletion. What happens? Oh, well, it is as the name says. You have a chromosome and then you lose a piece of it and then the new arrangement of your chromosome is just missing that piece. That is called a deletion. Now, how do you detect the or deletion of a piece of the chromosome? Usually, when you have cell division, when you're going through mitosis, and you look at the structure of the chromosomes that are lined up, chromosomes of one type might not be the same length. So in this case here, if you look at the chromosome sequence, you, you know based on the sequence, on the nucleotide sequence, that is supposed to be like this. And then you look at the other chromosome and you're just missing a piece of it that is just not there. So you know that this piece was deleted. This uh, part of the segment was is just missing. So when you look under, under the microscope, you might see this arrangement of a loop that forms close to the chromatids, to the sister chromatids there are with the full length, and then the ones that do not have the length, when they line up, they don't line up properly. You have a little loop that forms to the piece that is not matching. You have a bulge on that chromosome. Now, an example of a deletion of a syndrome that you can have based on the deletion mutation is the Skrudoshat syndrome which this is a deletion of a piece of chromosome number five. Now, Credo-Schatz syndrome, if you look at this, one of the chromosomes is intact, and the other one had a deletion on one of the arms. And then you have this syndrome that involves basically the whole body. The person is usually mentally challenged, and there are certain characteristics that you can see for example, the, the eyes position and usually a big mouth. You have certain characteristics that you can identify with the Krizoshad syndrome. So the symptoms here of yes. So it no, it disappears. Because if the cell is dividing, remember what happens with chromosomes, they're not with the pieces of DNA, they're not protected. They get chewed up. Yeah, so if you got it happens that this piece got cut out from the chromosome and it couldn't connect again. It just disappears, you know. It's a food, a snack for the uh, endonucleases, you know. Symptoms of Kriduchat. So usually, as I mentioned, it, they usually have mentally handicapped and some specific physical characteristics. They might have problems with the GI tract and also heart malformations. They also have malformations on the larynx, you know, the windpipe. So when the child is born, you actually diagnose, the first symptoms can be diagnosed as soon as the child is born, because since the windpipe is malformed, the child is not going to have a normal cry. And this is how the name of this disease, you know, got its name, is uh, Kridoshat, means the cry of the cat. A lot of people don't like this video, I think it's very informative. Yeah, because the mother had no clue. Sorry, this is his sound system here. The kid does not sound like that. <laughs> it's supposed to sound like a cat, not like a lion. <laughs> yeah. You know, when you hear the cats at night doing their business and you don't know if it's a child out in the street, does that happen to you sometimes? That's really true, yeah. yeah the, they sound more like, like the cats sound more like babies. They do. They sound more like a cat. 
Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's interesting. I tell you, it drives my dogs insane. All these street cats yeah. in the middle of the night, 3 a.m. Oh gosh. Yeah. Oh. oh, poor kitties. What are they gonna do? It's their nature, right? <laughs> okay. So here. So when you're talking about a deletion, well, what you're talking about is a loss of a portion of a chromosome. Now, deletions can happen in different shapes. You can have a terminal deletion, which means not that it's you know, terminally ill, it means that it's at the end of the chromosome. Terminal, are close to the end. So here, if you have a terminal deletion, is at the tip. Or you can have breaks that are within the chromosome. You can have um, two types of these intercalary breaks. So here you see is at the middle of the chromosome. And now another type here of rearrangement in the DNA uh, sequence is in the multiplications or in the duplication of specific sites, specific sequences of the chromosome. And one example of this type of uh, DNA mutation is in the case of Huntington disease that you have a certain piece of the DNA that just gets duplicated. So we're going to see also how that can happen. When you are having a crossover, and where is this happening? What time? Yes. Prophase is one of what type of system? Meiosis, right? Not doing mitosis. This is meiosis, commits. So this is why this is a problem for the offspring. Now when you're having crossing over, and it so happens that the genes, the, the sister chromatids did not align correctly, it could happen that you have an even exchange of these pieces of DNA. So it could happen that one piece, one sister chromatid here will receive more than its share of the sequence in the gene. It'll be more obvious with more other, other examples. So what, what happens here is that one sister chromatid will get more than what it should get, and then the other one will have less because this sister chromatid took the piece from that one over there. So at the same time that this chromatid here, chromatin here had a um, deletion, this other one here had an addition or a duplication of a specific piece on that gene. This is not always bad. Okay, because remember, DNA mutation is what leads to evolution. So it could also be that when you have duplications of a specific gene, you could make the organism better instead of creating a problem. Okay, so in this case, if you have, for example, one gene that is producing a ribosomal RNA and or a particular cell type, needs to have a lot of protein production, a lot of translation happening, and then this cell happens to have a duplication on the gene for ribosomal RNA. So this cell will actually make more protein than the other cells. So it could be something good instead of something bad.